Hello, hello. Today I'm going to show you an awesome unboxing video by me for you. Today, let me introduce you the Top Down BT Master Diagnostic 2 for 12 volt car batteries. It is a testable Bluetooth wireless mm, analyzer function for cars, motorcycles, SUVs, trucks, PKBA 101. It is. Is. The brand's name is Top Down and um, the item wide is about 50 centimeters. It is a tiny cute thing, but it has so much power because of the support of the app which are you going to get from the Google Play Store and the Apple i um i i i, I, I app store of course. So what it is is, it can be directly connected to the battery without coding. The battery monitor is Bluetooth connected with the free downloaded app on an Android or iOS device. The BT Master app is designed with a simple and clear layout that provides clear and accurate data chart displaying. The battery tester is a able to all 12 voltage lead exit batteries with wide test range CCA 100 until 2000. The applicable model included motorcycles, trucks, cars, etc. Of course not 24 voltage systems. Um, for mechanics, it is more convenient for vehicle maintenance and more accurately to find battery problems. It supports automatic reconnect function that will automatically reconnect the last connection once the device has been disconnected. For example, the BT Master app supports report function that will automatically save the previous test data and you can compare and view or share it with the professionals if you need it. But I think you will be self a professional, of course, a professional DIY mechanic. The user manual is illustrated and you can easily understand and follow the instructions or you can look and watch my video. Because in the app you have the manual inside. It is easy to learn, easy to use. So that it is. It is a nice and tiny device. You have a code on top. This is a code you, you're able to scan for Google Play Store or App Store, Apple App Store. And then you have to load the BT Master app on your smartphone or your device. And there are two clamps, one black line and one red line. The red line will come to or will uh, connect it to the battery plus pole. The black wire will connect it to, be to the minus pole, the black pole of your battery. And then this device will getting so much power to get um, a Bluetooth connection to your phone, for example. And then you are going to use the BT Masters app and you can make a cranking test, you can make a battery test and of course an alternator test in, in, instead of it. Bluetooth 4.0, it recommended vehicles valid for 12 volt lead exit batteries. And you have so many standards in it. CCA 100 until 2000, BCR 100 to 2000, CA 100 to 2000, MCA 100 to 2000, JIS 26A 17 until 245H52, and DIN standard 100 to 1004. 100 IEC and of course 100 to 1400 EN and 100 to 2000 SAE standard and 100 to 2000 Great Britain and GB standard is 30 ampere hours to 220 ampere hours this is enough for I think the most um, batteries in your car the product wide is 185 grams, net weight is 115 grams, the metro type is acryl nitrile butadine stirring plastic 
and the external test certification is CE and you will not need any battery. You have Bluetooth 4.0 and the language is English. No problem for us, isn't it? So let's test it on a live battery at a car. Let's have fun and have a test for it. So here we are at the battery. Under the car hood you can see the engine area. And I placed the app on my iPad and um, I started the app. Good job. I enabled the Bluetooth connection. Then I opened the cover of you of my battery. Uh, and there it is. This is the plus pole and this is the minus pole. These two poles we have to connect by using the BT Master. First step, get the red clamp on top of the pole of the red side of the battery and then connect the black side. Good job, as you can see. Now, the device will, mm, in my case, automatically reconnect. And if you are going to connect it first time and able Bluetooth, then go to BT Master app, then connect it by, um, by using the BT Master app. And then you can see the current, um, voltage level at your battery this it is 12 point what is it 8 voltage that means here is um, a good value for um, an idle battery message now let's start um, a battery test there are so many different types of batteries on the market and you can choose. We have built an AGM battery, as you can see on the screen. Oh yeah, there it is. So let's do it flat top battery. And after this, we have to get um, information about the batteries, how um, ampere hour and of course the standard. We will choosing the DIN standard. You can choose another. Um, you can choose so many standards in this device and in this program. That is the CCA standard, the BCI standard, the CA standard, the MCA standard, the GIS standard, the DIN, the EEC, the EN standard, the SAE standard, whoo, and the GB standard. All standards are in this testing range and you can choose the right standard with the right capacity of your battery. So we are choosing now the DIN standard and get the value at the right site and then we can start checking the battery's health status by um, choosing the right thing and then push on the next button. So there it is. Let's go and let's have a check up now. So what we are going to see is the state of health. That means SOH is the state of health and the state of charge. This is on the right side placed SOC, including the test value, battery voltage and internal voltage. All things you are going to need for a right um, a focus on your health status of your battery. Good job. In my case, you can see I have to replace my battery Oh, in a short moment, because it is only half and half capacity. Oh, that is not so good. But okay, there it is, or so it is. You can see what your battery has is there. Easy going, as you can see. And it will help you to get the right thing out of it. You can see, uh, have you a good battery or a bad battery installed? That means a good battery, the, ba the battery is good and you can rest um, as soon of using it. Good recharge, it's a good battery, it's low current. Replace the batteries almost or already broken. Information, bad cell replace. The battery is broken or interior damaged and the charge retest and unstable batteries thing or mm, that you shall be recharged and retested to avoid error that means the program will give you a hand and tells you what's going next
So we are going back, and you can see this is the um, the standard mode. Uh, Twelve point eight voltage is an ice value. So let's do and have a next test with this device. We are sitting inside the car. And while the Bluetooth connection is enabled, we can sit in the car and have the battery check system in front or under our car road. This is really nice function, I think. So what's next? We are going to perform a cranking test. That means um, we have to um, switch off all our electrical components in this car, like radio, lights, etc. And if you're pushing the OK button, you have to start the engine immediately after you're pushing this, OK? And now let's start the engine and have a look. There it is, 1000 rounds per minute. Good job. Neutral drive is enabled, and we are waiting a little bit until we get the value of our cranking test. The cranking voltage, cranking time, and voltage are all available for the cranking test to check if it is normal as you can see and here you can see the cranking voltage it's 10.53 voltage it is a little bit under the standard the cranking time you can see and you um, can see here the um, voltage level of the battery in seconds oh this is nice here it goes down 14 voltage then down this is the starting start your engine and it goes up a little bit because of the alternator so that it is how to check the cranking thing and you can see the bt must get you some information so let's go back here it is please no that it is please um turn oh, uh, the engine on after you push the start button on the app and then you will get the cranking information of your car that is a nice and easy thing, as you can see. So for this, it is a cranking test. Let's go to the charging test. Here we can test our um, alternator, built-in alternator. This is an awesome test, I think, really nice. That it is, you have to start the engine first, so the engine is still running. Every electronic things are off. Um, the um, the engine is on in medium drive, then we go to next. And the second step is to get up to an acceleration of 2,500 rounds per minute. Um, and then we have to push, if we reach that level, 2,500 rounds per minute. Then after this, we have to get um, the OK button on the app. And then we will get the information of the charging test. To test if the charging system is normal and you can rest, it's sure to use the battery. You can access the charging test to test loaded voltage, no loaded voltage, charging ripple and voltage. As you can see, that is information what this app will give you on the end. Easy to read, easy to think. Oh yeah, this is smart, isn't it? And on the bottom side, you can see the information um, because of your charging test. If your alternator is working well, it will give you information about this. If your alternator is broken, it will give you information of this. Nice and easy device. I like it really much and I will use it all the time for all of my vehicles with 12 voltage system. Because... This is a nice thing. If you are using a multimeter, you have to do um, making so many things. You have not um, the Bluetooth thing on board that has this device, easy as you can see. Bluetooth will give your Wi-Fi connection 
um, with no wires, I like it really much. You can sit down and rest a little bit inside the car and get some information about your battery, um, your cranking test and charging test. That means your alternator test. And after you switched off the vehicle, this system will get you um, more information. Now, as you can see, 14.8 voltage, it means the alternator is working well. And after we switched off the engine, we will see another, well, um, another thing here for refreshing. We are going back to the, to the main menu and you can see 12.8 voltage. This is going down. It is normal to get at 12.7 for good battery. Nice and easy, really. And Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, I like it really much. You don't have to to stand in front of your vehicle and mm, the wind is blowing around you. It's cold outside. You can chill inside your car and getting some tests. And there's a memory function too. In the setting mode, you can get uh, memories or a uh, history of testing devices of your charging test of your cranking test and your battery test every test will be stored in this um in this app for um for i think for all the time or isn't it let's check it um if we getting the power supply of this device and then we will we will see that the memories will stay inside the app for this we are going to unplug the device first the red then the then the black wire and you have to get the covers on top of the battery because of security, because of safety first, as you can see, and get the cover back in position that it is to de-install it, to de-assemble this little tiny awesome device. And you can see I am going to continue using the app. Here you can see no, nothing is connected and I can see the memories too nice and easy this will get you information in the future what your battery status uh, was in in the past of course easy going nice device so that it is how to use it and i th think thanks for watching and please subscribe me and give me a positive feedback and i hope to see you again on my channel so that it is soon soon nice